Robert Scott the Bell Robert Show. Scott Bell Show. We covered decades of raids that the United States government in various forms has uh, basically perpetrated on the people. If you're not clear who the real enemy of freedom is, who the real terrorists are, right now we've got the health ranger, Mike Adams, to make things clear as crystal right here on the Robert Scott Bell Show. Mike Adams, welcome back. This is a quite, quite an astonishing day we're having to uh, reveal even more of the depths of the depravity that the feds and even state governments are attacking raw milk and raw milk freedom. Yeah, it's it's incredible, Robert, and th- this is all breaking news that that we're covering here. So thanks for having me on to to go over this. So yesterday, a there was a big raid conducted in L.A., and this raid hit uh, three people, the businesses and their homes. And one was James Stewart, the founder of Rawsome Foods, a private buying club, a buyer's club that sells raw food and, and raw milk and raw cheese to its members. Uh, I'll describe what happened in the raid, but it was a SWAT-style raid, uh, guns, uh, helmets, like military-style helmets, bulletproof vests, multiple vehicles, multiple agencies from the FDA, the CDC, the California, the L.A. County Department of Agriculture, the L.A. County Sheriff's Office, and LAPD were all on the scene to be part of this raid. Did, were they a threat to anybody? I mean, honestly, were these people, you know, raw and armed to the hilt? I mean, what, what brought this on? Armed with microbes, maybe. I mean, they, they had probiotics yeah. in their milk. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. I think maybe the government has lost its mind and now considers those to be uh, weapons of mass destruction or something, which is why the CDC was probably there. But... You know, Robert, I got I got to just lay it out here. This yes. is an act of government-sponsored terrorism against innocent people. Uh, we have now reached a point in America where the the, the terrorists are the government. I mean, it, it's become that bad that these people were doing. They and I haven't even told you the whole story yet. There's two other people that were arrested: uh, Sherrod Palmer, mm. who is the owner of Healthy Family Farms that mm. sells some of the milk to the uh, the Rawson Foods. Mm buying club, and also Victoria Block, who is the L.A. County liaison for the Weston Price Foundation. These three people, their homes were raided, their cash was stolen from them, uh, the Rossum Foods inventory was destroyed by these, these crooks with badges, and they're charging all three of these people with conspiracy. Conspiracy to what? To, to mislabel cheese? That's what I heard a little bit, that they said, oh, well, the reason is that they mislabeled the cheese. Exactly. Yeah, one of the, one of the charges against Sharon is that she mislabeled cheese. And then uh, the, charge, the conspiracy charges are under Section 182A of the California Penal Code, which says that if two or more people conspire to commit any crime, they can be charged with conspiracy. And the crime that they're committing is selling raw milk. <laughs> yeah, again, we've we've joked and made light because of the absurdity here, but the absurdity is beyond absurd now. It's downright dangerous, dangerous to the people of America who are waking up to the reality that real food, real milk, which is raw milk, is the only way. In fact, the only way we should be consuming it, and that these seem to be desperate attempts on the federal and state level as they participate here. The conspiracy here is the government against the people, as you said, rightfully so, that the terrorists are now in government. If they can basically determine that you're a terrorist or, in this say, in this case, a criminal conspiratorialist. Yeah, yesterday, uh, Liam Sheff and I were discu- discussing um, conspiracy realism, conspiracy realities, as opposed to theories. And this, this is something, if we had said this 10 years ago, the government was going to raid raw food producers and raw milk producers and charge them with conspiracies for mislabeling cheese, you'd be going, you're off your rocker. we got to no, worry about Osama it's, bin Laden. It's like an episode of South Park. Yeah. And, it, and it's happening real. Now, Drudge Report linked to the story at Natural News. This is getting national media attention. I think the outrage here is such that I'm a little concerned because, as we've talked before many times, we're not inciting violence, nor have we ever. We want to see peaceful demonstrations, but we need some kind of Gandhi-like moment at this point to show the you know the dangerous absurdity of the feds coming in with arms ablazing almost. They weren't blazing, but basically potentially could be killing people over the issue of whether they... Well, they can have access to, to real food. Well, I mean, you're, you're right. We always espouse nonviolence. You know, we don't, we don't uh, want to bring guns to the protests and start shooting. Uh, but, 
it's important to note that that's what they do. That's what the, the, the feds do, and that's what the state people do. They bring guns, and they're willing to shoot you hmm. if you don't do what they say. I mean, they are escalating this beyond all reason to the point where they are, in fact, inciting a violent revolt. Hmm. They are inciting a revolution almost. They, they are, I'm telling you, if somebody gets shot, you know, the, the guilt has to lay on uh, California uh, Department of Agriculture, L.A. County Sheriff's Office, FDA, CDC. These are the people who are making, I mean, they're engaged in such criminal oppression, such acts of fear and terrorism and vandalism, destroying the inventory of the store and taking the money away from them and, and making them post $123,000 in bail, which is three times what a murderer has to post in bail in, in L.A. County, by the way. I mean, these are criminal acts of oppression against innocent people. Of course, sooner or later, somebody's going to get angry and, 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 you know, fight back in whatever way they know, right. especially if the legal system doesn't give them any options. Well, what, I mean, this used to be the crunchy granola capital of the, the world almost, California, Los Angeles. You've got Hollywood there. They're all into organics, a lot of awareness on, on raw foods and vegetarian, vegan. I mean, these are the things, these are the people that would probably be customers at Rossum. I, I mean, I'm thinking, you know, the protests are this, were this morning earlier, and, of course, we're seeing where this is developing. There is an absolute desperation at this point that this is occurring. Part of the discussion on yesterday's show about conspiracy realities is the fact, for instance, CIA became a tool for global corporate corporations. You know, it was corporate espionage. It was wiping out uh, government so that corporations would have access. Now we have this happening on our own shores is there something, some kind of subterfuge underneath this that's beyond? I mean, the Obama administration, a leftist Democratic organization getting behind this and saying, yeah, we need to, to shut down raw milk. Where is this coming from? <laughs> yeah, it's just coming from a sense of desperation and, and total government tyranny. You know, it, it used to be, Robert, that the government would try to act like it's serving the people, but behind the scenes it would do this kind of thing. Now it's changed. The U.S. government knows and even the California state government knows that its days are numbered. California is going bankrupt. The U.S. government is already in default. I mean, the end is coming. The economic end of this nation is coming. And they know it. So they're not even pretending anymore. They're just all out declaring war and pulling out their guns and, and uh, stealing people's money and vandalizing their stores. And they're doing it all mm. outside the law. And they don't even care, Robert. They don't even care. They're just, they're, they are basically runaway criminal thugs and they are they are the terrorists and they got to be stopped. Well, I want to be clear about this that it wasn't that people were harmed or injured by drinking any of the raw milk or products from Ross no. there were no complaints that we're aware of. This was simply kind of like the sting operation in Maryland outside of DC. The Fed took a whole year, the the FDA took a whole year to look into these things and and finally just, you know, went after this uh, Amish farmer. This is a pattern and and as I, you know, in my last segment I talked about it in terms of decades long this pattern now is increasing in intensity and absurdity and dangerousness. Yeah. I almost think that they're trying to incite violence among the people. It's, it's almost like they, they really are. And then they'll use that to clamp down on gun rights. You know, that's exactly their plan, probably. I mean, they, they went after Julie Bass in Michigan, right? Threatened right. her with 90 days in jail for, for growing them. tomatoes. They've gone after the Amish. They've conducted raw milk raids on Armin Bashard in uh, Springfield, Missouri. Yes. Uh, this is the second raid on raw some foods in Venice. It's like they're just begging people, yeah, we dare you, resist, resist, so we can hit you in the face again with the, uh, another act of terrorism by the government itself. It's, it's, you know, it's really sad, Robert, that yes. this is what we're facing. Well, I see this as, a, you know, that instigation of a conflagration, if you will, that would basically result in violent uprising. And then, as you say, they would then justify the clampdown. We've got to confiscate guns. We need to start rounding up you raw milk people, you people that support Ron Paul, because they yeah. were, you know, remember they were put on the list, these watch lists, because, well, the, the people that love liberty, that if they cite the Constitution, be careful. These people could be dangerous. Dangerous to who? only to overlords that do not acknowledge that there is even a constitution. We see now in the Senate and the House talking about the super Congress that was put in for oh, this man. budget debt ceiling elevation, a super Congress. Where do they get that? Nancy no, Pelosi. Well, we have to pass it to see what's in it. There's where the pattern is. Everything they're doing today is completely lawless. They, they've abandoned the Constitution. They've abandoned 
the republic. They've abandoned the, the very idea that we are supposed to be a nation of law, a uh, law that must be respected even by those who create the law. So we are dangerously sliding down the path of tyranny. Right now, it's happening. We're seeing it every single day in front of us. And if we don't bring this back, I don't know where it's going. I mean, now they, they say that possible terrorists might be veterans and Ron Paul and, and now probably hemp growers and raw milk drinkers. But I tell you what, Robert, if I were stranded on a desert island, I'd want to be surrounded by veterans and Ron Paul yeah. and, and hemp growers and raw milk drinkers. Those are the best people in the world to be with. And those are the people that, that are all being targeted by the government. Well, a very much peace-loving people is what we're talking about here, uh, establishing you know, uh, the, the peaceful means by which we can restore integrity to the Constitution, the, the, the nation, the republic. And all pretense that we actually have a Constitution in effect now, I think, is, is really uh, going out the so-called window, uh, particularly with the super Congress and the be- uh, budget uh, elevation, if you will, a debt ceiling elevation, which means there is no ceiling. There is no ceiling at all. It's nonsense. Right. Uh, but we really have to look at some proactive steps to take here, because obviously we want to see protests. We want to see nonviolent protests. We want to see uh, civil disobedience. I mean, everybody needs to walk around with a placard that says, I drink raw milk. Come and get me. I mean, what do we got to do here? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. I mean, the protests are, are useful. Sure. You know, the petitions are useful. But I, I don't know that that we can save this. I almost feel like. Uh, the the collapse is inevitable, and we really need to think about what can we do after the collapse mm. to rebuild a better society that that restores law and order. Right. We you know the government claims that they are the law, but they are not the law. They are only supposed to enforce the law on the books, and and they do not follow the uh, the laws themselves. No, no, they are no. the lawless ones. Well, exactly. They are in anarchy. That's the thing. Look, let's take a quick breather here catch our breath and really assess what we can do where can we go from here and of course this story is breaking the whole world is following it natural news is right at the center of it you're listening to the robert scott bell show on naturalnewsradio.com where you're listening to the program mike adams the health ranger is my guest for another segment here as we talk about the rossum the attack on rossum and the attack on liberty everybody's liberty at stake here right now right here on the robert scott bell show coming right back after this call robert now at 866-939-2355. That's 866-939-BELL. 